estate litigation and power of attorney litigation involving real estate. Hello, my name is John Pinkowski. I'm an estate and trust litigation attorney with Pinkowski Hauser in downtown West Palm Beach, Florida. Our law firm restricts its practice to trials and appeals as well as disputes involving wills, trusts, estates, probates, guardianships, and related commercial and business litigation. So what do you do if somebody took a power of attorney transferred real estate to themselves, and then that real estate is no longer in the estate to be distributed under the will. Well, a superior court in Connecticut dealt with that very issue recently, and if you're involved in a power of attorney case, uh, or you're involved in uh, cases where somebody with the power of attorney, a so-called attorney in fact, may have engaged in conflicted transactions or self-dealing, you may want to read this case. The case is Zach-Reginak, Z-A-K hyphen R-E J I N A K versus Reginak, R E J N I A K. It's a July 7, 2016 case. It's an unpublished opinion from the Superior Court of Connecticut. I'll give you the Westlaw site, 2016 WL 4202984. And this particular power of attorney lawsuit case involves the issues of constructive trust and unjust enrichment. Those are two important remedies that you may seek if you believe somebody misused the power of attorney and transferred assets to third parties or to themselves. My name is John Pinkowski, and this concludes my remarks about power of attorney litigation.